So, <laughs> I read the first Dune trilogy. So, the first uh, three books of Dune, right here. So, Dune, Dune Messiah, and uh, Children of Dune. Um, gotta say, I'm very impressed of, on how it's well written. Really liked it. So, um, I'm just gonna be discussing a little bit Dune. Uh, that being said, you know, spoiler alert. <laughs> if you've not read Dune, go on, read it, because I'm going to spoil a lot of things, so heavy spoilers ahead. So, if you've not watched anything, not read anything from Dune, Stop the video right now and go on and read it if you're interested in the story. Uh, because once again, I might be spoiling some stuff. Uh, I've got some notes. I'm sorry if I'm, uh, I might be looking at my notes a lot throughout the videos. Uh, that video, sorry, video singular again. Um, I gotta say, you know, the first book, I enjoyed it. Like it was a classic tale of... Um, of revenge, you know, uh, the prince figure, his father dies and he's going to revenge, take revenge on his family. So that's kind of the first half, first three quarters of the first book, I'd say, uh, almost near the end. Then it turns into this myth about a messiah, a prophet thingy who's Paul Muad'Dib, so Paul Atreides, Atre Atreid, I'm sorry, Atreides, I think you'd say. Uh, but yeah, I had, at first he's like, wants revenge to take back what was rightfully his. Uh, then it turns more into the beginning of a religion, so kind of a statement on <laughs> religions. Mixing up with politics, uh, science, and everything like this. So I really enjoyed that, you know, that it starts off as a kind of typical story that you'd see, you know, almost anywhere, similar tropes. And it moved into that whole other story altogether with book number, near the end of book one and book number two and three so near the end of book one you know paul is like this godlike figure near the end of book one uh, and book two though uh he's kind of i don't want to say diminished but yeah kind of he's reduced to a more human-like figure instead of this god that was being portrayed in book one uh, but though, you know, all the people around Paul are still viewing him as a god, though. All the our people coming to Arrakis, uh, pilgrims to just seek out enlighten, enlightenment in Arrakis, in Dune. Um, so yeah, a lot of people are, seeing, view, are still viewing Paul as a god figure, even though we see him more in a human way uh, he makes mistakes and stuff like this i really enjoyed all of that yeah so book two as i said is more about you know making paul more human um and then book three is um the aftermath of this religion uh, what it has on his children and also not only his children but you know all the people who still believes in Paul, so Paul disappears in the desert and he becomes the preacher. Essentially, Paul is quote unquote dead. Uh, instead, it's the preacher who's preaching out stuff uh, because, once again, he's trying to discredit himself, but he's not able to do that. Uh, I don't know if Leto, his, ch his child, so Leto too. Is going to be able to change that that's something that i'm going to see in the next trilogy though uh, because once again i've not read the second trilogy just yet uh, so i really enjoy the fact that it shows kind of the beginning of a new religion uh, i'm very interested in the 
you know, I, I come from a very religious family, so I'm very interested in the beginnings of religion. So early Christianity, pre-Christianity, um, pre-Christian religions and all of that. And I didn't think that Dune would go this way, actually, before reading. When I came into the books, I didn't know anything about Dune. And I think that's the way to go, not knowing what's gonna happen in Dune, not knowing what the story is. I really thought it was going to be this space opera, so only politics in space or something like this. But it's more grounded than that, and it's more about the mix of religions, politics, science, and all of this, and how it all connects together and kind of the trappings of mixing everything together. So I really enjoyed that. Uh, you know, once again, I'm not... Not once again. You know, I'm not diving, diving too much into the books. Other people have done it way better than I could. Uh, it's just kind of my thoughts on the books. Once again, uh, because I said that in the previous video. Um, only thing that I didn't like about the Doom trilogy the first trilogy and it's it's just me nitpicking here but it's the fact that Duncan comes back so Duncan Idaho Idaho comes back I get it you know I kind of understand that he had the fans were complaining that Duncan died in the first book and he brought him back uh, but that's the only thing that I didn't like. Maybe I would have liked instead of Duncan Idaho being that present in book number two and three. Maybe it would have been better if it was Gurney Halleck instead. Uh, but that's just me though. Maybe you like that Duncan is back. But that's the only thing that I didn't like at first. And then I came... I became, you know, accustomed to it. So it wasn't bothering me that much. It's just, once again, me nitpicking on. It's just, you know, you have to hate something about a book. You cannot like everything. Yes, you can like everything. But that's just, you know, it's just a one small thing that I, when I read that Duncan was back, I was just, ah, why? I understand why, because he has a big part to play in it. But I just feel like somebody else could have taken its place, his place, actually. Uh, so once again, something that I really enjoy is just, you know, the main topic of it being the problems that you have when you mix religion with politics and science. Uh, even if you mix politics with science. Um, so I'll... I ranked the books, you know, which one I liked better. And both three of them are masterpieces. In my mind, they're all really great. Uh, but just from my personal taste, so the one uh, the one that I liked better was Children of Dune. I think it's just wonderfully crafted and all the aftermath of that new religion, what happens you know and i saw a lot of similarities between this and early christian religion you know all these sects battling one another to see which one of them is going to take control over that new religion i really enjoyed that and the whole battle to see who's going to be the new king because now paul is no longer duke but he's king of the universe i think they call it uh, so who's going to be king? So I really enjoyed all of the plot and plot beneath plot beneath other plots and just how deep that book was, actually. Um, yeah, after that first Dune, uh, it really sets the tone as to what's going to happen into the trilogy. And it's, you know, it's just putting pieces here and there that you're going to see more and more uh, the more you go into the trilogy. Uh, 
So the one that I liked the least is Dune Messiah, uh, only because it's that one where Duncan comes back. Uh, but that being said, you know, still a masterpiece. Um, I know that it wasn't that well received when it came out, uh, Dune Messiah, just because of the how Mr. Herbert the deconstruct the god figure and the hero figure. Uh, but it's still, you know, I really enjoyed that book. It's still better than many books. It's still a masterpiece in my mind. Uh, so what I hope is going to come next in the next trilogy, uh, I want to see maybe kind of the divisions of the two families, so of the twins maybe, uh, because at the end of the third book, they are really close together they have the same vision i just don't know if over time that vision is going to clash if there's going to be a breaking point uh, if so i hope that there's a breaking point you know at one point where the twin no longer agrees uh, or their descendants you know their families no longer agrees because we know that leto is going to live for like four thousand years i think something like this but all the descendants of Ganima and um, the guy from House Carino, Faradin. Uh, I hope that, you know, something happens and kind of the twins, the relationship between the twins kind of break and we see separation of these two families. That's something that I wish is going to happen, uh, just mainly because, you know, once friend now fam now enemy i kind of like that topic and i wish this comes into fruition uh, then i would love to arrakis to become kind of like jerusalem you know this holy planet holy place uh, it kind of already is in book number three you know where pilgrims go to be closer to god or whatever but i would i would like love if uh, it continues like this in the next trilogy. I can't wait to see how religion evolves, you know, over time, over thousands of years. I can't wait to see that happen, actually. Um, but yeah, these were my thoughts on Dune, you know. Uh, so as to what comes next, I know in my previous video I said I was going to do the challenge right now, keep the next trilogy too later or something but I was being told to not do that and actually read the second trilogy because there are mentions of the first trilogy so just as to not you know forget what these references are just read the next trilogy now uh, so I'm going I just received the second trilogy uh, like 10 minutes ago or or something uh, so I'm going to jump right into it right after this video um what i'm going to do is right after i finish a book i'm going to record a video on my thoughts on the book i just read i'm going to do that for book number four five and six actually uh, so i don't know what's going to be the what is the agenda is going to look like you know when i'll be posting video it might be in two days it might be in a week or two weeks i don't know i just want to do this so read a book comment on what i just read after i finish the second trilogy i'm going to do same thing as i'm doing right here just talking about the whole trilogy the trilogy as a whole and then maybe ranking the six books uh, in my opinion, you know, which one were the best and stuff like that. I don't know yet if I'm going to read Brian Herbert's book, uh, books. He wrote three, I think, if I remember correctly. I just don't know if I'm going to read them. Uh, but I know that it's not going to be now that I'm going to read these books because I think they're just compliments on the two trilogies. Uh I might just read them, but that's going to be definitely after the challenge. Uh, so what's going to come next? So at least three videos uh, for the next Dune trilogy. Then after these three videos, at least three videos. I don't know if I'll be making three or four. 
that's something that I have yet to decide. Um, but right after the next three or four videos, I don't know how many, once again, I'm going to be making that uh, first challenge video where I'm going to talk about the books I'll read uh, and the schedule, you know, when the videos are going to come out and which books I'm going to re read first and so on. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you like this decor. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out where I want to record the videos in the house. Uh, I might go downstairs at one point. You know, I'm still trying to figure out where I'm going to record these videos. So once again, guys, thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Peace out.